vibration. When a mechanical system performs oscillations about an equilibrium position, due to the action of a disturbing force, the system is said to be in a state of vibration. Vibration Characteristics A vibration is characterized and assessed by three parameters, amplitude, it is the maximum displacement from the central, equilibrium position. Frequency, it is the number of cycles of oscillations completed in a unit interval of time, phase, is a measure of instant at which, a vibration passes through the central position. Vibration modes, node, a point in the vibrating system, where the amplitude is zero. Antinode, a point in the vibrating system, where the amplitude is maximum. A system can vibrate with two, three or more nodes as shown below. Here shows one node mode vibration of engine and propeller shaft system. This is two nodes mode vibration of engine and propeller shaft system. Here is the three node hull vibration. Unbalanced forces of an engine are less likely to excite hull vibration, if the engine is located at a node, whereas unbalanced couples are less likely to excite vibration if the engine is situated at an antinode. There are three forms of vibrations, they are, longitudinal or axial vibration, transverse vibration, torsional vibration. Natural vibration, if a mechanical system is displaced from its equilibrium position and then released, the restoring force arising from either spring elements as in vehicle suspension, material stiffness as in torsional or bending systems, or gravitational forces as in pendulum will cause a return towards the equilibrium position as there will be an overshoot and undershoot and so on. This will result in a vibration, called natural vibration in a free vibration. The system is said to vibrate at a natural frequency. Forced vibration When the mechanical system vibrates under the influence of external forces and moments, the vibratory motion is said to be forced. Forced vibrations take place at the frequency of exciting forces or moments. For example, firing impulse and inertia forces from the operating cycles are the exciting forces on the elastic shaft system. Resonance When the frequency of the forced vibration coincide with the frequency of the natural vibration of the system, a resonance condition is reached. This results in a buildup of amplitude, which may be dangerously high to produce great fatigue stress and finally failure of the material. Harmonic, it is a vibration with frequency multiple of the first order or fundamental frequency. Please see the example given. Critical speed, if the engine is run at a speed, where this frequency coincides with the natural frequency of the system, resonance condition will occur. The resonance will produce vibrations of high amplitude. The particular engine speed at which the resonance occurs is known as critical speed. Try to understand the example. Barred speed range. The high stresses associated with resonant conditions start to build up as the engine speed approaches the critical speed and do not come back to some safe value until the engine speed is beyond the critical speed. The barred speed range of an engine is the range of speed from the beginning of unsafe stresses 
to the dying away of these stresses at some higher speed. Engine must not be continuously operated at speeds within the BART range. Damping In a vibratory system, damping may be divided into external damping, separate energy absorber unit used to offer resistance to oscillation, internal damping, provided in the material property internally, it is the capacity of the material to absorb energy. A dynamic force acting on an elastic system may cause a resonant vibration. External dampers are used to lower the peak amplitude at near resonant condition. Excitation sources According to the vibration characteristics of two-stroke slow-speed diesel engines, the excitation sources are divided into four categories. External moments due to inertia and gas load, guide force moments, axial vibrations, torsional vibration. Here shows, engine excited external forces and moments causing vibration. Here shows, Transverse vibration excitation due to guide force moments. Axial vibration, when the crank throw is loaded, by the gas force through the connecting rod mechanism, the arms of the crank throw deflect in the axial direction of crankshaft, exciting axial vibrations. In order to counteract the influence on the hull from the axial vibration, all engines are equipped with an axial vibration damper in the forward end of the crankshaft. Here shows an axial vibration damper. The damper usually consists of piston moving in a cylinder. The movement of the piston causes oil to be forced through small openings so that resistance to movement is set up. The resistance damps out the vibration. All MAN BNW MC engines are fitted with axial damper to minimize the effect of axial vibration. Axial vibration monitor with alarm and slow down feature is fitted in some engines where power takeoff mounted at fore end. Torsional vibration, the elastic shaft system of a multi-cylinder diesel engine, is acted upon by a periodically varying torque. This causes a harmonic displacement of masses in the plane of rotation. This is termed as torsional vibration. Torsional vibrations are thus made up of large number of harmonics of varying amplitude and frequency. When crankshaft revolves at a speed, such that one of these harmonics coincide with the natural frequency of the system, Resonance occurs. The shaft is said to be at critical speed. Frequency of torsional vibration can be calculated using this formula, where Q is the stiffness and I is the moment of inertia of attached mass. The essence of control is to adjust these two parameters, Q and I to achieve a frequency which does not coincide with any of the forcing frequencies. If controlling of Q and I does not give the desired result, additional masses must be brought into the system. Sometimes additional mass is in the form of damper, detuner. The Kimonis detuning and damping devices used in marine practice are viscous fluid dampers and spring-loaded detuners. Limiting torsional vibration is important to avoid damage, or even fracture of the crankshaft, or other propulsion system elements. Classification societies require torsional vibration characteristics of engine, shafting system, with verification by actual shipboard measurements. Two limits are laid down for torsional stresses. Lower stress limit, which may be exceeded for short time and indicated as barred speed range. Upper stress limit, which must never be exceeded. 
Here shows a system with barred speed range. In this system no barred speed range required. Silicone damper, it comprises of a heavy floating ring mass, A, and a light outer casing, B, rigidly connected to the end of the vibrating shaft space between the floating mass and the casing being filled with silicon fluid. When the shaft rotates, the inner mass, A, is carried round with the outer casing by the viscous drag of the fluid, and will attain the shaft RPM. When shaft vibrates, inertia of inner mass, A, does not allow to follow vibration, but outer casing follows the vibration. It causes shearing of silicon fluid, to absorb energy of vibration and gives a large measure of damping. Thanks for watching. Good luck.